So when you're learning about differential manifolds or differential geometry, then you recollect a number of things from uh, linear algebra and from analysis like the inverse function theorem, implicit function theorem. And so here are a few things that has helped me uh, remember them pictorially. And then so if you consider F to be a continuously differentiable transformation from M, manifold M to manifold N, uh, and then you consider the differential of F, uh, yeah, at P, uh, th then that maps the um, tangent space vector at P uh, of the manifold to um, N. And um, so here's a simple example to keep, uh, you know, keep in mind that, you know, these things have coordinates that uh, big F has, you know, components uh, in, can be written in components. And this would be what an example of what F would be in uh, as a differential. Okay, so that should look familiar from multivariate calculus. All right, so df is mapping each of these uh, vectors, uh, tangent vectors in the tangent space of M to uh, tangent vectors in uh, tangent vectors that are in the tangent uh, tangent space of N, uh, manifold N at FP. And then so, uh, just suppose that. Uh, the differential p at P is assumed to be maximally uh, of maximal rank. That just means that you know it's it's just gonna fill up as much of the matrix as possible. Honestly, that's what it really means. It's gonna fill up as much as the matrix as possible. Okay, so so D F the differential is gonna be of size uh, n to m. So the question is is that you know is it gonna be injective or subjective? All right. So if it's of, of maximal rank. But uh, let's just say that um, it only it fill, fills all these uh, rows up, but not you know these are all going to be zero, or you know, and you can imagine putting this into that eliminate you know make matrix like all, all the rows linear independent that theorem or procedure. I forgot the name of it. Uh, so if if you, you only fill up those guys, so if the rank of uh, the differential is M, okay, so if it only um, maps to a, a range of M, then it's injective, okay? And, and you can quickly see that because uh, you've got, well, once you got M here, um, say, say this, this was zero. All right, so the only way to, you know, map to zero, what's fancily called the kernel, is, uh, is if you have zero here. Because, uh, you know, suppose this wasn't zero, then, um, you know, maybe you have some stuff here, some stuff here, but, you know, it's gonna get hit up by, you know, this stuff here. All right, a little bit easier to see I think is that you know if uh, the rank of this differential was uh, equal to n, so say it can fill up all these columns, okay, but these columns are all zero. After you do that Gaussian elimination process thing, then it is surjective because you can uh, reproduce any n by one uh, vector over here as a linear combination of just uh, these guys.